Morning Prayer on Wednesday the 19th of January Today the Church remembers the 11th century Bishop of Worcester called Wolfston. Wolfston is remembered as a great teacher of the Bible and a very influential preacher but also significantly as a pastor who visited everyone in his diocese in his time. He was also instrumental in getting the slave trade between Ireland and the west of England abolished at that time, particularly through the port of Bristol. And so we begin our prayer. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your light springs up for the righteous, and all the peoples have seen your glory. O be joyful in the Lord all the earth, serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know that the Lord is God, it is he that has made us, and we are his. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, and bless his name. For the Lord is gracious, his steadfast love is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from generation to generation. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. chosen psalm for today is Psalm 111. Praise the Lord. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart, in the company of the upright, in the congregation. Great are the works of the Lord, studied by all who delight in them. Full of honour and majesty is his work and his righteousness endures forever. He has gained renown by his wonderful deeds. The Lord is gracious and merciful. He provides food for those who fear him. He is ever mindful of his covenant. He has shown his people the power of his works in giving them the heritage of the nations. The works of his hands are faithful and just all his precepts are trustworthy. They are established for ever and ever to be performed with faithfulness and uprightness. He sent redemption to his people. He has commanded his covenant for ever. Holy and awesome is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All those who practice it have good understanding. His praise endures for ever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our scripture reading today continues in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 24 verses 29 to the end. 
And again, it continues Jesus' teaching about the end times. Immediately after the suffering of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from heaven and the powers of heaven will be shaken. Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send out his angels with a loud trumpet call and they will gather his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. From the fig tree, learn its lesson. As soon as its branches become tender and it puts forth its leaves, you know that summer is near. So also when you see all these things, you know that he is near at the very gates. Truly, I tell you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But about that day and hour, no one knows, neither the angels of heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. For as the days of Noah were, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. For as in those days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day Noah entered the ark, and they knew nothing until the flood came and swept them all away, so too will be the, son, the coming of the Son of Man. Then two will be in the field, one will be taken and one will be left. Two women will be grinding meal together, one will be taken and one will be left. Keep awake, therefore, for you do not know on what day your Lord is coming. But understand this, if the owner of the house had known in what part of the night the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and would not have let his house be broken into. Therefore you must also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an unexpected hour. Who then is the faithful and wise slave, whom his master has put in charge of his household, to give the other slaves their allowance of the food at the proper time? Blessed is that slave, whom his master will find at work when he arrives. Truly, I tell you, he will put that one in charge of all his possessions. But if that wicked slave says to himself, my master is delayed, and he begins to beat his fellow slaves and eats and drinks with drunkards, the master of that slave will come on a day when he does not expect him, and at an hour that he does not know, he'll cut him in pieces and put him with the hypocrites, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So we continue with the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hand of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, 
the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. So let us pray. Thinking of the reading from Matthew's Gospel. Let's ask ourselves, what do I need to do to stay awake and alert to your voice, Lord? How do I stay aware of where your spirit is moving? So Lord, we pray that through your grace, you will come to us and today and enable us to hear your voice and to respond so that we may serve you today. Let's pause now and just ask God to show us a particular way in which he wants us to serve him today. Lord, we bring before you situations and individuals who need help. Whether that's financial help or encouragement. Lord, we pray that those needs might be met. We pray that you'll show us if there's anyone that you want us to help to lift up and encourage and support in any way. And thinking of those words from Psalm 111, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Lord, we pray for all those who have responsibility. Pray for those in our churches, but particularly pray today for those in our country. Thinking especially of leaders of government. Lord, we pray that they may have the grace to always respect your ways. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. And the special prayer for today, Lord God, who raised up Wolfston to be a bishop among your people and a leader of your church. Help us after his example to live simply, to work diligently and to make your kingdom known through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Believing the promises of God as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen.
May Christ, who sends us to the nations, give us the power of his Spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.